Travis Kelsey has already left Taylor Swift in Australia to fly back to Las Vegas to continue partying with his Kansas City Chiefs teammates, Kelsey only landed in Sydney on Wednesday to meet up with girlfriend Taylor Swift and watch her perform one of her era's tour shows. TMZ claimed the tight end is flying back to Las Vegas to continue partying with his teammates after they won the Super Bowl in Sin City earlier this month, he is due to land in Las Vegas on Saturday morning after flying for roughly 15 hours in a journey similar to Swift's when she flew from Japan to Nevada for the Super Bowl, it's claimed the celebration has been planned since the Chiefs beat the San Francisco 49ers 25-22 in overtime. It will be Kelsey's third trip to Vegas in two weeks. He was there earlier this week to play some golf and relax with friends before flying out to meet up with Swift in Australia, the tight end was fully embraced by his girlfriend's loyal group of fans at Accor Stadium on Thursday night, in one clip from the show, a grinning Kelsey could be seen trading friendship bracelets with the Swifties. In another video, he waved at screaming fans as he walked by, Swift decided to give two nods to her bow in the audience through her lyrics during the show, during the second verse of her song Long Live off her album Speak Now, Swift sang the line, We are the kings and the queens slash you traded your baseball cap for a crown slash when they gave us our trophies slash and we held them up for our town. At the mention of trophies, Swift held her guitar up and seemed to point out in the direction of Kelsey in the audience, that drew cheers from the packed audience at the Accor Stadium in the Olympic Park suburb of Sydney. Later in the show, Swift had an encore of her altered, Karma, lyric, where she once again sang out, Karma, is the guy on the Chiefs instead of, guy on the screen. Kelsey landed in Australia on Thursday, just a few days after winning Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas against the San Francisco 49ers, they were reportedly staying together at the high-end Hotel Crown Towers in a suite that runs up over $16,000, Swift and Kelsey also visited the Sydney Zoo during their time in the city, a move that was criticized by animal rights organization PETA. The animal rights non-profit organization released a statement saying the couple should spend their time and money at a true sanctuary, instead, in a shared statement, PETA Foundation's Director of Captive Animal Welfare, Debbie Metzler, said, while we understand all too well the appeal of seeing Australia's wildlife. PETA hopes that next time Taylor and Travis want to see wild animals, they'll spend their time and money at a true sanctuary, the pop star and her NFL boyfriend went on a date at the 16.5 hectare site earlier this week ahead of Swift's three concerts in Australia's biggest city as they were even spotted even petting a little kangaroo, while Kelsey is just getting into his off-season, it's a busy time for Swift. She'll play three more shows in Sydney before staging a long six-night stay in Singapore, from there, she takes a nearly two-month break before continuing her era's tour in Europe.